saving Telco from itself, overcoming the top five challenges in 2024. 2024 will be a key year for telcos to embrace a solution mindset and make the transition to software-driven success. Metal benders like the automotive manufacturers, industries like healthcare, pharma, and agriculture are all undergoing fundamental changes. But one of the most wrenching industrial transformations is happening right now in telco. A common theme across industries is the rise of software, the edge, and silicon as critical enablers. The disruption of AI, the reworking of operations, or the deconstruction of proprietary tech stacks into open hardware, software, and services. This is causing not only business aftershocks, but also cultural upheavals within these industries, and tremendous opportunities for companies that help industries through these transformations. And perhaps no more wrenching is this transformation than Telco, which has a long history as quasi-governmental utilities that deliver essential connectivity 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. For decades, they are forever in our pockets and our pocketbooks, connecting our home offices, our businesses, and now our vehicles and equipment. They are essential, yet they have perpetually struggled to be more than a dumb pipe. Historically, telcos struggle with the pace of change that is associated with tech companies. When you run an essential network 24-7-365 for decades, and you derive the vast majority of your revenues from subscriber ads, you build up processes and cultures that are extremely cautious to the kinds of risk-taking that successful tech companies have to embrace. And after you spend billions on Spectrum, you're biased to make conservative bets, count new subscriber metrics, focus on churn, and provide predictable returns for shareholders. With the advent of 5G, arguably one of the most overhyped technologies in a decade, telcos expected to finally break the dumb pipe curse and transform themselves from telcos to techcos, and some actually have, but most haven't yet. And now the infrastructure and technology providers selling into telcos and selling into that 5G promise are struggling as well. How does the industry save telco from itself and successfully transform? Stay tuned for part two.